So we have established that the norm is a constant in time, but we can do even make a stronger statement. And the stronger statement is that the probability density, uh, the probability, you know, density satisfies an equation of continuity. So if you take the Schrodinger equation and multiply it by psi star and take the complex conjugate of that equation and you take the difference, then you get an equation which is the equation of continuity. Where rho is given by psi star xt, psi of xt, and obviously this is a positive definite quantity, and s is a current density which is given by h by qim psi star gradient of psi minus psi gradient of psi star, okay? So this just follows from Schrodinger equation. So uh, I think the i should be in the numerator? No. I mean, you can work this out, right? I h bar d psi dt minus... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So you just do this, multiply this by psi star, and take its complex conjugate, multiply it by star, and take the difference, and you get this equation. So <clears throat> what does the equation of continuity tell us? It tells us that in the absence of a source and a sink, you know, the probability density rho, you know, of a small region of space, I should say probability, rho say d cubed x, or a small region of space, you know, changes with time given by the outflow of the probability uh, you know, uh, current or outflow or inflow, um, outflow or inflow of current, you know, from that region, okay? Okay, so this is basically what the continuity equation tells us that, you know, this will change, this will uh, change depending on how much current is seeping out or flowing in. Okay, so this is an equation that is, that crops up whenever we have uh, a, uh, an incompressible liquid, which is also conserved, right? So this is a probability is a kind of, you know, incompressible fluid, you know, which is conserved. So if you multiply, if you have a lot of non-interacting particle, then this, you can multiply, 
you know, your probability density by the number of uh, uh, the number of particle, uh, and then you will basically have the particle density, right? This will describe how many particles would be in a given space uh, and how that number would change depending on how many particles are flowing out of the space, right? Okay. It's funny, actually. Um, I, I was in the fluid mechanics class a little while ago, and they were using the example that you gave to explain uh, the continuity equation in fluid mechanics. OK, yeah. So it's a circular. Physics is a circular. Uh, 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 it's a mafia, yeah. It's a, so, so yeah, the definition of this is given in another class. The other class is the definition of that thing is given in this class. Anyway, uh, that's a joke. Yeah. All right, so um, see that the interpretation of of this of of you know psi star psi as a probability density is related to the fact or is equivalent to the fact that rho is positive definite, right? Otherwise, we cannot, if a probability density cannot be a negative number. 